What's up, y'all? Chris here, founder of Rooted Music Coaching. At Rooted, our goal is to help you learn to play the music that you love by coaching you on the why and not just the what. Now, in today's tutorial, we have something really special for you. We're going to te teach you the key of F sharp on piano. It's a key that a lot of songs are in. For instance, the song Reckless Love is in the key of F sharp. A lot of songs are in this key, and it's kind of a tougher key to play in if you're more of a beginner or even intermediate uh, type of worship piano player. It's a key, though, that you really want to learn. You want to become fluent in. So we're going to take you behind the scenes to understand the key in the chords and, and the reference to the natural number system to help you understand and hopefully become more fluent in that concept as well as we then apply that to the song called Mercy from Bethel. It's an amazing song. I love leading it. I'm really excited to walk you through this tutorial today. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, guys, I'm really excited to come around the song Mercy today with you. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I want to show you is the key that Mercy is in, okay? So Mercy is in what's called the key of F sharp. And in music, if you're not familiar, uh, all, uh, all every song in music is broken down into a specific key of music. Um, and these keys are just groups of notes that sound really good together based on their given rules. And so the key of F sharp um, is really unique in the sense that it has six sharp notes in this key. And once we understand each key of music, then that really helps us play fluently in that key. And so that's what I want to help you do right now with the key of F sharp and Mercy. So um, every key uh, has seven different notes that we can play using, all right? Um, and what we'll do is we'll learn in just a second, we'll learn the scale of F sharp, right? That really just gives us a map of the key of F sharp. And then from there, we'll derive our chords, which will help everything make more sense when we go to play it, all right? So the scale in Mercy in the key of F sharp goes like this. We start with our first note, which is F sharp. F sharp, the key of F sharp is unique in that we have six sharps, like I said before. We have F sharp as our first note, G sharp as our second note, A sharp as our third note, B as our fourth note, C sharp as our fifth note, D sharp as our sixth, E sharp as our seventh, and F sharp as our eighth note, okay? So we have all those seven different notes, eight notes total. Now from there, we derive our chords. Our chords are built off the first, third, and fifth notes of any scale. And so our first, third, and fifth note were these guys. That's going to be our one chord, all right? And that's really where this, this national number system concept comes into play. It's an amazing concept that just kind of applies a chord um, per its position in the scale and helps us understand music a little bit more relative when it comes to the keys of music. So this is our one chord right here, okay? Um, we would also call that an F sharp major. All right, so then from there, all we're going to do is slide our fingers up one note to the right in the scale, and we get this chord right here. This is our two chord. So we G sharp minor, okay? G sharp minor. From there, we go to the three chord, which we would get this guy right here, A sharp minor. That's our three chord, okay? Then our four would be B major. And then our five is going to be C sharp major. And then our six is going to be D sharp minor, just like this. And then our seven is going to be E sharp diminished. We don't play a whole lot of these seven true seven chords in these songs, and, and Mercy doesn't happen. Um, but you have those other six chords as well. So those are our six, seven different chords that we have in the key of F sharp. And from there, we're going to use a mixture of those seven, of those seven, six really in this, in this song. We're not going to play the seven chord. Those six different chords um, in this song to make up the chords that make up the song, right? And so then from there, the last thing I want to show you before we jump into the tutorial, where I'm going to play the whole thing down for you and just show you exactly how it's played, is I want to delve into this idea of inversions for just a minute. So in music, we uh, in, in the way that we play chords is it's kind of different based on the song. Um, we can use what are called chord voicings, a different chord voicing um, to express a certain feeling or just a certain sound um, that might fit a melody better or that might fit a certain progression better, right? And so we have these inversions that help us voice these chords better. Like if, if that was our only way of playing a one chord, it would be a little bit redundant and we wouldn't have a whole lot of options. But fortunately, we have several different ways that we can voice just that one chord. Same thing with this two chord, right? So with this one chord, we would call this position root position because our thumb is on the root note of the chord. Okay, so that's called root position. Um, you'll notice that the fingers, if you play your thumb, middle finger, pinky, they're evenly spread, right? My thumb is on that first note, um, the one of that chord right there, okay? Now, we can also invert these chords, okay? So to invert just means to flip the notes around to a different order, all right? We have to keep these same three notes here to make it a one chord in F sharp and to make it an F sharp major. To keep it that way, we have to use those same three notes, but we can flip the order around a little bit. So there's our F sharp major in root position, but if we wanted to invert it once, go to first inversion, we'd bring our F sharp to the end and 
play the chord just like that. That would be first inversion of F sharp major, okay? First inversion of the one chord. Second inversion happens when we bring the A sharp to the end. And we have that voicing right there. And every single chord has those three options as far as voicings, root position, first inversion, and second inversion. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial.
Guys, thanks so much for watching the video today. I hope you really enjoyed and got a lot out of learning the key of F sharp, learning more about the natural number system, and actually learning how to play the song Mercy on piano. So I hope you really take that to heart, really delve, dive in, and just go for it learning that song and really just own it. And hopefully that'll lead to more opportunities to even lead it um, in a worship opportunity down the road for you guys. Now, if you enjoyed the coaching today, I'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and to check out our monthly membership package uh, in one of, the, one of the links in our comments below where you're going to get access access to content and courses just like this every single day for a really low affordable monthly option. So I'd love for you to check that out and we'd love to connect with you soon.